actually, potentially I'm trying to do a vlog for you. But it's not going too well at the moment. You've got water spots on the camera that I can see. I don't know if I can get rid of it. I don't know if that helps or not. Um, yeah, we came out. We've come to a place where I've not really seen a landscape vlog done before. So I thought I'd come down to this place. It's about 90 miles from home. And I'd do a bit of an unveil and show you where we are. But at the moment, the weather is really trying to stop us. Uh, the sun comes out and then the next minute it's blowing an absolute gale. And then the next minute, it's hailstones so we've just tried to get down to the bottom and i think we're going to go back to the car and try and turn around but stay with me i'll see if i can get a few images today and show you where we are if not it was a good try anyway catch you in a bit Right, well I hope you can hear me, um, it's a bit windy, we've come down to the bottom now, we drove down and round rather than keep getting drenched every two minutes. Um, we've had a sandwich and a cup of coffee and now I'm going to take you up to the bottom of this place and just let you have a quick look of, just have a quick look of where we are. This isn't doing very well, god I'm not sure you can hear me with this wind, we're not doing very well with um, the light, the sun's now in the wrong place. I'm going to take you over the over this bridge in a minute and uh, show you what's over the other side of the bridge. And uh, I might show you a couple of images I took last time we were down here. God, if, if you can feel, if you can hear this wind, I'm going to turn around and you're going to get a taste of what this wind's doing. And it's also going to show you where I am. That, that is Ellen Valley. We're in middle of Wales, we're at Ellen Valley, and we're not far from Ryada. So that's where we are. Like I say, the light, potentially, the weather's brilliant for dramatic photographs, but we just aren't in the right place at the right time at the moment. But I will, I'll take you over to the other side, I'll show you the dam from a bit, low, a bit closer up, and uh, if I can get an image, I will. If not, I'll show you something we got last time. I expect you can probably hear me a bit better now. Um, standing behind this uh, old pumping station. I'll say old pumping station, but it's... Uh, it's an ongoing pumping station and uh, this dam is one of three or four as you go up the valley and uh, it's absolutely awesome if you've not been here you must must come and visit this place and uh, drive up through the valley you drive up and round you go off to the big dam on one side and you can carry on up through the others uh, we've actually camped here last year um, in a camper van it was uh, October and it was our first night in a camper van and I'll show you an image from where we were um, and I'll also put up a couple of images I took while I was there. Uh, completely different weather. This is like, like I say, the weather here is just really good for photography in a way. You get blue patches, little patches of colour in the, in the mountains and stuff, or the hillside. But very difficult to get the camera in and out and very difficult with this vlogging camera. But yeah, a bit dry down here. Been up the other side of the dam, which I'll show you. It's pretty dry up there at the moment. Um, Denise is snapping away, as ever, while I'm talking to you guys. She's snapping. She'll probably come away with some good images. Whereas my camera's in my bag and my back, and it's not that easy to get to. Bring it out then. <laughs> right, I'll take you across this bridge and uh, show you the leading lines that I got last time. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Check this out. Oh, 
Right, let's get over this side and I'll show you. Unfortunately, my juices aren't flowing. <laughs> the light's in the wrong place. The light's right up in front of us. If you look up there now, the light's coming down right behind me. Uh, but that's the dam, you can see there. I've seen that completely covered in water with the water coming over the top. That's impressive, that's really cool. But up there, it's seriously windy. Um, you've still got one of the chutes going. You see, this feeds Birmingham, this river. Or this dam. Millions of gallons. And uh, yeah, there's quite a few gallons of water in it. So at the moment, potentially not the best of vlogs, I'm sorry. But uh, at least you got to hear my lovely voice again, eh? <laughs> no, maybe not. <laughs> right, we're going to jump in the car and we're going to head up the valley and I'm going to show you what's up there. Because that is awesome. See you in a bit. But I wanted to show you this. How bloody brilliant is that? Well cool. And we're now standing underneath oh, 400 million gallons, 40 million gallons of water. So yeah, pretty daunting prospect really. Anyway, we're going back to the car. Catch you in a bit. Just going back to the car, like I said. And uh, Denise has just reminded me we came for a walk down here. Now, if I can find the images, I will show you. But we went over the other side of the dam and walked along the edge of the dam and uh, followed it back round. And there's the remains of um, the dam they built. It's like a mini dam where they tested the where they tested and practiced the the bouncing bomb. But yeah, the remains are still there. Um, we took a couple of pictures, but there's not much left of it really. But it's only a little mini dam, and you can see all the, the walls where the wall's blown away. Um, so yeah, potential history. pulled up at the, the crossing of the dam um, or the crossing of the reservoir come across this bridge as you can see that we're on at the moment um, come across here follow the road round off to the right round there um, you can probably also see just about there um, a little church um, Denise is just after getting a photograph of the church but yeah we came and stopped down in, in this area in Rayada um, a few years ago, probably before we were married, um, and we had a we had a really nice cottage at uh, Christmas, and we actually came up and saw this church and a lot of people doing stuff at the church, and um, it was a 
it was a Christmas carol service. So me and Denise decided to come and have a go. So we sat down, uh, it's no electricity up there. They had a generator for some outside lights and uh, it was all lit inside with candles. So very traditional, it was, it was really cool. Um, yeah, wicked place. Like I say, the water level, if you look at the, look how dry it is. It's dead, you know, it really is dry and below us, you know, when you look down, you can see the bottom of these stanchions and uh, I've never I've never really seen the bottom of the stanchions. So potentially there is an awful lot of shortage of water. I know there's still millions of gallons in here, but if we carry on getting this hot, dry weather that we've been having in the UK, we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to try and get a couple of photographs. I'm going to get one from over there, uh, near that thing. Um, again, I've taken one in the past and I'll put the comparison up to what's now and what I took in the past. And I'll also take one of that little do for tower there and uh, do the same thing um, I'll see if I can find them on my phone and try and do a very similar comparison the lights not great now it's got uh, quite heavy clouds but there are some little patches so if I can get a little patch of light in the right place then it'll be perfect well you can now see a bit over behind me just on the top of the hill just, just uh, on through the valley there it's there, just coming then. through the valley Down that way. so yeah I'll spin you around so you can get a little patch of light you can see on that let's just see if we can focus over that way yeah a little patch of light over in the corner it's coming through the valley every so often so we're gonna hang around here see if i can get myself an image i've got to end up with one good image today haven't i really that's working its way around so, so that means she said it's working its way around so that means i've got to put my camera down and uh get me other camera out i'm just going to get an image of the church denise has been getting one so i'm going to get one now i'm only going to do it handheld because the rain's going to come over any minute now. There's a big cloud up there. So I've got my image stabiliser on. Um, I'm going to be 1635. I'm going to put it in aperture priority ISO 100 and F8 and just let the camera do the work. using the, the bridge as a lead in taking you down into the image as you can probably see on there. Well, we've retreated back to the car. Like Denise said, it was going to rain, and guess what? It's chucking it down again. So, yeah, we're going to wait here for a minute because I still want that shot down there so I can show you the comparison. But the clouds are pretty, pretty big now. I know we should be out there in the rain, but I haven't brought my Gore-Tex with me. And uh, that little rain mac of mine. I did. <laughs> yeah, she did. I didn't bring my Gore-Tex with me, so my little rain max. All great. It's all right for keeping the rain off, but you don't keep the rain out after a while. So I'm going to sit in the car for a bit. Could do with a coffee, really, which we haven't got. I might even get the jet boil on the back seat. And uh, wait for the rain showers to pass over and see if I can get something else. out the car and I brought you around to the the big dam this one you've actually got to go 
off the main road and uh, follow it up until you get to this path. It's about, I don't know, three miles maybe from where we just were. Uh, maybe four miles. It's all right though, it's not a bad little drive. Um, but everywhere you look is scenic. Back down this way, if you follow this river down there, um, there are some waterfalls right over there in the distance. Um, also on the other side of this bridge. Um, on the other side of the bridge there's some nice cascades and a lovely little leading line. See there, this nice leading line that takes you all the way down to the valley. So I've got my Fuji with me now. Um, so I bought the Fuji as well. I'm not going to get the cannon back out of the car. It's too heavy to keep lumbering in and out. Um, so I brought my Fuji. I'm going to take a couple of snaps of this. And we've just been watching this. If you look behind me, look at that. Now I've seen this, or me and Denise have seen all of that with the water flushing over the top. And that is hell of a sight. And you can walk up there, up in the corner, and you can virtually touch the water coming over the top. So if you're ever here, potentially when that's doing that, it is absolutely fantastic sight. I'll pop up a couple of images that I've taken. I know the quality is not the same back then. Um, I hope to think I've improved since I used to take photographs um, over the years. But yeah, I'll pop up a couple of photographs just to give you a potential view of what it actually looks like. But this is absolutely fantastic, fantastic place. Um, all the reservoirs, all the way up through this valley. Um, if, like I said before, if you haven't been, do come, do visit. Fantastic place, you will not be disappointed. Um, in any weather, in any conditions. So anyway, I'm going to get the camera out, see if I can get myself a couple of pictures of this, and I'll try and zoom in on that because it's causing it's little waves coming over the water, and it's quite, it's quite cool, it's changing, it's almost changing colours, flowing. cool is that eh? Just been stood on that bridge over there looking back this way and now we're walking up towards the bottom of the dam. It's pretty cool though I must admit I like it down here. That's wicked that is. Just casting waves as the water comes over the top and just gives you ripples. Can you imagine how hard we'd have to swim or run if that suddenly started to give way? There's probably 400 million gallons of water behind that wall. And uh, yeah, 400 million gallons of water probably behind that wall. Now I've seen an image that I want and I'm now desperate to get. Um, I want a picture of Denise on this little bridge. And I want to take it from over that bridge with a longer lens, but I want the water cascading over the top here. Now, if I remember rightly, there was Top Gear was filmed here, and I think it was the Jeep Cherokee or something like that. They brought over here and they brought the Jeep Cherokee down this down this cascade down there. So, anyone that's into their Top Gear and they're interested, then uh, you need to find that and check it out because. I remember watching it and I think um, the hamster was in it. But look at this here. This is this is well mad. How much water's coming out of here? That is bonkers. How much water is coming out of there, eh? So when they built these things, it's pretty impressive, I must admit. And the fact that this must be really deep, it's hitting the weir just here and just stopping and then just rolling over the top. But like I said to you earlier on, you 
climb up there and when the water's cascading down the top here, you can actually reach out and touch it. How cool, eh? We've just had a serious moment. We've just come round this corner and there was a massive rainbow. And it looks like it's coming out again behind me, if you can see there. Yeah, you can get it. I'm going to get my camera out again and it's on its way. So I'm going to grab my camera. I'll leave this with you. <laughs> As you can see by the sun on my face and uh, the light behind me, it's pretty bright and uh, I've got my waterproof on. So we're just heading back to the car and it's nice to have the sun on your face but it's been even nicer to see the rain today I must admit. Um, I get, I'm not big with the sun and if you're a follower or you followed me for a while you know I hate the blue skies um, unless it's potentially good for a blue sky. We're gonna head back up probably to the top of the dam and see if we can get an image at the top of the dam while the sun's going low. Hopefully that uh, rainbow, I've got the mic in my face, hopefully that rainbow that we got earlier on uh, is a keeper or if not a keeper worth coming out today for. With nothing else I've shown you Elam Valley, I've shown you a couple of the dams anyway I hope to show you a couple more before the end of the day. Um, and then we'll probably make our way back. We did actually bring our wild camping gear with us, but I think it's give potential thunderstorms again later on and tomorrow. So I don't fancy camping and getting wet in the thunderstorms. Right, so I'm gonna head in there for a little tinkle and we'll see you in the next location. Just jump out the car quickly. Qua? Car? Jump out the car quickly and just show you this one. This is the uh, second reservoir up. So as you come from the bottom where we started this morning, this is the next one you come to. And I, I took you around to the big one, which you have to go off the uh, dead end that way. So this is heading up towards Aberystwyth. And again, this one, we've seen this one gushing with water and there's a set of steps just here. And you can follow the steps down and you can go down the bottom and stand at the bottom there, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So yeah, just wanted to show you this one. Um, the water level is really, really, really low, as I keep saying all day. You can see it's got to be 15 foot or more. It's got to be. I've seen bits of the bits of the underneath. Yeah, you're looking down here. You're looking at 15 foot or more. Um, maybe 20. You don't normally ever see this. 
So anyway, we're heading up that way. Uh, we're gonna go up to the top one and then we're gonna make ourselves a pot noodle haha, <laughs> and a coffee. So catch you at the top. Right, we've uh, made a coffee. Uh, coffee's all ready to go. And uh, so is the pot noodle. So we're gonna get a bit of food inside us, warm our bellies up, because we've gone a bit chilly, to be honest. Temperature's dropped quite a lot. This light behind me looks really, really good, actually. Let me just show you this. This looks pretty cool, with the light going down. Light going down behind that. How does that look? <laughs> I might even get me food yet and quickly quicker snap of snapping image before I have me dinner. Yeah, we haven't decided what we're doing tonight. Um, chances are we're probably gonna drive back home. Um, if we can find somewhere to camp we will. But like I say, the way the weather's changing, it could be pretty bad. Um, they've given quite heavy storms and stuff, so I might just leave the camping tonight. Don't fancy going home to be honest, I fancy staying out. So uh, could quite possibly be getting ourselves a little room somewhere. Um, we've got no reason to go home tonight. So anyway, we're going to leave it for now. Um, if I see you tomorrow, it'll be next week. And if it's next week, you should be seeing this last week. And uh, <laughs> until next time, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Um, the comparison between the old photographs and the new photographs. Um, let us know what you think of what you think of that, what you think of Elon Valley. Yeah, let us know what you think of Elon Valley. Love to hear your comments. Um, always good to reply. And uh, till next time, ciao for now. Before we go to bed, I uh, just thought I'd let you know we decided to stay at the stay at the top viaduct, and uh, we set the tent up. So uh, <laughs> I'll see you all in the morning. Bye. Morning guys, just got up, uh, set the alarm early, been raining since one o'clock in the morning, it's about, I think it's about quarter to six now, six o'clock, and I haven't even opened the tent yet, but it's been raining since one o'clock, we haven't slept very well, um, so there's going to be no vlog today, so I'm going to back this on the end of last night's, as you already know, um, yeah, I'm just about to open the tent. I'll let you see what we've got outside. Yeah, it's grey. Very grey. You never know, there might be one vlog. May have to have a wrist with and do some long exposures or something. Catch you later on if we do. Bye.